Based on my understanding, Liz, there are two significant domains that eBPF is going to influence. The first one is, of course, observability. And the second one is service mesh. We'll come to service mesh in a bit, but uh, what is the fundamental change or the impact that eBPF does to observability landscape? Are we going to move away from agent-driven monitoring? And you mentioned tracing. Uh, today, people use Open Yager and a lot of distributed tracing tools. Do you see all of them getting magically replaced by one tool written using eBPF? I don't think it's necessarily just one tool. Um, and I think that's one of the interesting things about the eBPF landscape. You know, we're seeing a lot of different tools giving you these different answers to different questions. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, it, it's we're at the beginning of the the sort of journey of seeing how eBPF will be used and 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 the kind of range of different tools that people are going to build um, and also build successful businesses on as well. You know, there's, there's going to be a lot of uh, really great, you know, there's some really great startups out there doing really interesting things with eBPF. So, uh, yeah. It's, it's... So does eBPF really take care of those four pillars of observability, the melt, you know, the metrics, events, logs and traces? Can I extract all of them uh, by by just running an eBPF program? I would say it can give you the building blocks to enable all those things. Because it's operating at the kernel level, it's, um, you know, potentially lower level than some of those um, features. But um, say, for example, metrics, if those are metrics related to, you know, something that's happening at the, at the kernel level, let's say, um, network packet rates or um, memory usage or um, file IO, all of those things, yeah, the, the, the kernel is the best place to gather those metrics. So eBPF is great for that. If we're talking about observing network packets or tracing network packets, again, those packets are in the kernel. They're traversing the network stack in the kernel. So that's a great place to observe them and whether you want to observe them at different levels in the stack, you know, whether it's, you know, at the socket layer or right at the network interface, the, you can use eBPF to hook into all these different, different layers. Whether you want to generate application logs using eBPF, maybe not so much because your application is in user space already. So you don't benefit much from kind of going to the kernel and back out again. That said, you're writing to a file you're you are using the kernel but um yeah so it depends what you're measuring whether ebpf is the right you know it's not the right hammer for every single nail but it's right. it's a very very useful hammer yeah. <laughs>